Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Wild Street Tech. Right, this is my next video for you guys. This is the Griffin 120mm DRGB fans from Bits Power. I've got some benchmarks to show you. More of thermals than anything, but I'm going to show you the overall quality in the fans. Uh, you get a five-year warranty. These are a hydronamic bearing. They've got nine blades, they go up to 1800 RPM, and also, they connect together. So instead of a traditional ARGB connector, it's this three pin, like that, and like, wait, like that. Now, that is what it essentially looks like. Now, I have got this set up in my test bench by here, which you can probably see it right here now these three in the front are set up this way they daisy chain off each other it saves cable management so what we'll do is i'll get to the benchmarks now then we will get to talking about the actual fans so let's start okay right so i've got two sets of different uh, thermal benchmarks i've got one for the fans on low settings it's this actual uh setting by here is the lowest it goes i believe it's like 450 rpm so that's the lowest it goes and then what we're going to do is uh i've got another one then which is full speed so that is just full 1800 rpm so let's start 3d mark tests now i did time spy and fire strike because it hit both the cpu and the gpu at the same time remember this isn't a cpu Bench, um, benchmark or uh, air cooler review this is fans we need to see if it pushes amount the, the amount of air from each different rpm so this is on the low speed now, i did times by this was for cpu and gpu so cpu idles with 33 the gpu was 30 the max it hit during the test was max at 53 celsius and on that's on the cpu GPU 45. Fire Strike was CPU idler 32, GPU idler 37. The ma and the max on the CPU was a 51 Celsius. The max on the GPU was a 47. Now I included Shadow of the Tomb Raider because it does hit both at certain points in its own benchmark. So what I've done is I've done the idles by here which is 30 celsius for the cpu and a 38 celsius for the gpu the gpu had been running for so many tests with that one, that's why the idles are so high the max on the cpu is a 51 celsius and that on the gpu is a 48 now that was on low settings now on full speed 1800 rpm four ahb fans pushing this air the times by run on the CPU, the idles are 26 Celsius, so there's already a difference by there. The max was a 51 Celsius, so there's already a 2 degree difference just by going full speed. The GPU, which I was very surprised, the idles on the GPU when I first started was 20 Celsius. It was, it was literally, it was 30 Celsius, that's crazy. The max on the GPU temps was 44, so that basically went down by a degree. Now, Fire Strike, the idles on the CPU was 28 Celsius, the max was 50, so that basically means there was a fifth, there was literally a one degree difference between the max temperatures. Now, on the GPU side, the idles were the same, 37 altogether, but the max was a 47, uh, 46, sorry, so there was a a one degree difference there and shadow of the tomb raider the cpu was an idle of 29 the gpu was 34 the max the cpu went up to was a 43 celsius the max the gpu went up to was 48 so that means the gpu was no different but the cpu went down by a lot it went down by like eight degrees that is just insane Yes, 43 it went to max on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That is crazy. On CPU. So that's literally, what, what's that? That is 8 degrees. 8 degree drop just because of the fans going full speed. 
Right then, so that's there the benchmarks done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the overall quality. Now, as you can see, they've got these rubber mountains on the top because these are basically fans you wanna put on your radiator, but they can be used for in case as well. Now the overall construction is very rigid. There's no little to no flex. It has a nine blade design and it's got a metal shaft inside the fan for high durability and they will last longer as i said five year warranty with an rgb fan which is a bit bonkers if you ask me but what can i you know i requested six of these because i wanted four in the system to fin it to populate all the fan spots and then two then so i could show you now these have got a very premium feel to them they are very 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 nice rgb fans i love the illumination on them i'm not a fan of that the connector but then again this is my first time actually having rgb fans at daisy chain so i'll give them that one uh the overall design of the fan is brilliant i will say an idle they are quite silent but a full wow they are loud very very loud but overall these are fantastic quality fans now you do get accessories with them it comes with actually quite a bit of accessory it comes with a, a silence mode adapter for the fan which you would connect it to the end of the fan and it also comes with a three pin argb header connector Aha, here we go. right so it comes with this by here which is a performance this by here this by here will automatically sync onto one of the ends of the fan and then connect to a three pin on your motherboard. Now, I will say I'm not 100% sure on the price, but what I will say to Bits Power is I love the overall design. I really do like the fans. They're really nice premium fans. They will be staying on my test bench for the time being until I've got another fan review to do, which I still have from Thermal Right. But... Overall, these are fantastic, good fans. I would suggest if you're going to buy them, I'd suggest putting them on the radiator. That's probably where you're going to see the most benef benefits from them because these are static pressure, pressured fans and they do push quite a bit of air. So what I will say is these are very good fans. Now, the packaging overall, nice and simple. It also is, the ARGB is compatible with every single motherboard vendor so it's asrock msi it's got asus it's got uh asrock it's also got gigabyte it's got razor then it's got vivid yeah vivid whoever that is but i don't know. but yeah look these are they're fantastic fans i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to look Comment down below if you do, did like the overall testing methods. I hope you have a fantastic day. And this is Richard from Wildsheet Tech. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like.